All right, so we are back in the morph pack. And here's the thing. Um, how do I put this? If the mod developer is watching this video, could you please fix this glitch? I went into the, the mod world, the morph pack world, and you know how it automatically installs the mod every time you play? It didn't. And I had no idea how to get the mod back in there other than to delete the world and start it again. Which means all the morphs we collected have disappeared. So, and guys, don't get mad at me about this, please. I cheated a little bit in this mod to get the Ender Dragon. That's because me and my friend kind of like the ender dragon in this mod he likes riding, riding the ender dragon when I turn into it and I like being the ender dragon and Basically, Ben Dragon is my favorite Minecraft mob. I know it's a boss, and final boss and I should have worked towards getting to it but I love the ender dragon and with that said I found up a new AI for the Ender Dragon. To make it harder to defeat because honestly it's hard to get to the end than to slay the ender dragon. And that shouldn't be the case. The ender dragon is the final boss. It's the boss you slay to complete the game. It shouldn't be like that. And so what I did was I thought of a new AI. I haven't, I don't know how to code 
but I'm going to learn. Or at least I want to learn how to code. I don't know if I can code a new AI for the Ender Dragon since like the game belongs to Microsoft but I can try to become apply to become a marketplace creator and like make a mod that makes the Ender Dragon harder to defeat maybe I also had an idea for better trophy for the ender dragon like you know how the ender dragon drops the dragon age Well, I had an idea of what the Dragon Egg could do. And... Basically, I think... Like, it could be a good thing. And... Microsoft, if you're watching this, if anyone from Microsoft is watching this, If I learn to code and make it so that way, like, like the, the Ender Dragon is harder to defeat, will you please put it in an update? Because honestly, I love to see it in normal Minecraft. Because for those of us who've been playing Minecraft for a long time we remember when the Ender Dragon like there's something that Ephilips Labs said that stuck with me he remembers when the ender dragon was actually hard and I mean I I remember that too back in 1.4.2 version of Minecraft the update that I was stuck on for a really long time the update that is still on my old computer that my parents have the ender dragon would swoop down at you and it would just do it randomly 
it would just randomly swoop down at you. And there was a chance that if you weren't really paying attention, which the Enderman kind of kept you busy. And let's be honest here, if you were wearing a pumpkin on your head, the first person view is kind of pretty much useless. In third person view, you can't always see everything, but back to what I was saying, the Ender Dragon would swoop down at you and knock you off the edge of the end. You would lose all your stuff and I remember back when I'll be playing Minecraft and, and I'll just go to the end and I would just expect to be like completely obliterated by the Ender Dragon. Because if I have my back turned, the darn thing would knock me off the edge of the end. And I remember back when the Ender Dragon could fly through blocks. Not just break blocks, but fly through the ones that it couldn't break. Nowadays, the Ender Dragon is predictable. Basically, these days, everyone just All of us who have played Minecraft for a long time can just essentially we just defeat the Ender Dragon after we get there and then bing bang boom that's it. 
that's it. That's the whole boss fight. That's the whole boss fight right there. Couple hits. We know where it's going. Even a noob would know where it's going if they stayed in the end long enough. And that's not how it should be. That's not how a boss fight should go. A boss fight should be hard. It should give the most grand prize ever. But with the Ender Dragon it just doesn't. It goes with essentially, like, it used to be around 70 experience levels, and I had just defeated the Ender Dragon, like, just today, and it only gave me 40 something. Now one thing I do like about the new Ender Dragon is that when you defeat it you the, ex, the experience points go directly to you. They don't just fall on the ground and you have to collect them. I like that because essentially what would sometimes happen is some of the experience points it's been a while since I defeated the old Eden dragon it's been years but I would imagine that sometimes the the uh, experience points would go in the portal. I remember watching a Minecraft video, a video on YouTube, someone released the Wither and they fought the Ender Dragon. Essentially, I'm pretty sure the Wither won. If that's all you have to do is release the wither on the ender dragon and then bing bang boom you defeat the game you you finish the game you might 
say that was a boring fight. think that's all for this video. Join us again next time. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe.